Hello, this is Chill Computer Guy. We're here in Bitwig Studio. Today we are going to talk about uh, DAWs with with uh, computer music, with the kids doing their dubstep. There's something going on um, <clears throat> that is missing, and it uh, it is shuffle. Um, Bitwig Studio. I'm I'm a little troubled. I was a little troubled. I'm getting my head around it. Um, coming from propeller had reason I'm used to their shuffle the groove mixer um, I'm coming from a reason a modular environment an environment where all I really need to EQ is a high pass and low pass filter if they're good and then put some uh, you know I like the SSL you know I'm coming from that analog -y when music still had some fucking tape and soul you know I'm coming from that and I'm converting over into where I'm staring at a computer screen now, I don't care about anything if it just doesn't have some fucking groove. Moving on, this is a one bar, uh, the same one bar loop, but what we've done is we've put a shuffle on it. Now, how we do this is we have to make sure that the global shuffle, the global shuffle has to be activated. A matter of fact, on your default, your default template, when Bitwig opens every time, make sure the global shuffle is on. Just, just have it on by default. Now, these amounts... I'm going to leave it with 1 16th at 50%. That's the default, and that works pretty good. If you go to eighth notes, remember, bigger notes are going to affect the shuffle quite a bit more. So 16th note is a finer shuffle than an eighth note. And then this is, of course, so 1 8th, 100% is the biggest shuffle you can put on. So 16th note, 50%, that works out. Leave this at quarters, you're good to go. So what we've done here is we've put a 32% accent on this global shuffle okay so these these shuffle amounts right here shuffle and accent right here these are clip specific clip specific these ones down here on quantized time these are note based shuffles in other words this will only shuffle the highlighted notes so this is a note based shuffle but this note based shuffle is very dangerous because you can end up fucking up your MIDI clips and there's no way out of it once you save your file. Duplicate your original. If there's some way to get out of that, you know, that's something that they sh they'll probably in a future update will be and maybe like a preset menu under that because that would be very powerful. But anyway, so we're just, we're not going to use any quantized time shit. We're going to use our global shuffle, but we're going to accent it on the MIDI clips, okay? So if we go here, this is without any shuffle. Okay, see this? Accent 0. Okay, now if we go over to here, that's accent 32. Okay, so let's go ahead and listen to the second one here with the... Okay, now that's with an accent 32%. So that's a clip, that's a clip bass. This is 32% shuffle, this is 0. Okay, so you kind of see where I'm going with that. Now, that's great. Let's go a little deeper into that. This is another uh, drum loop. Again, here it is stale. It's got 0% shuffle on it. This is called. This is like a scat. Would I use a back piece scat on this? Check this out. There's the volume on the back snares need to come up, but you see what I'm saying. Okay, so now that's it with 0% shuffle. Okay. Now, let's check out that same clip, but now we only have 9% shuffle on here, so let's check this out. So, by doing this, by increasing this, it is actually, the accent you'll see will come out. Now, as I decrease this accent amount,
The problem is, this is global, okay? I would like this to be my options. In other words, now if I go back to my one bar, my one bar main, my one bar main is using the same global shuffle. You hear that backbeat? You hear the backbeat? There's like a backbeat underneath that first beat. Anyway, let's take a look at that shuffle right inside a song. I was working on this jam last week. It's called Digging In. Uh, I try to add some shuffle to this, try to change it up. Here it is. Uh. Here come that lead. Here comes here comes the lead melody right here. There's the scat. Now you're gonna put some vocal you will put some vox on there. just gonna keep going over there we'll talk about mixing and working with some of these effects we got a here's my vocal chain if you want to know what that is work on a melody first thing you should work on in a song is a melody Melody or drums? Listen, if you're not inspired to do work on drums, work on melody. If you're not inspired to work on melody, work on drums. That is my number one tip as far as when you have the flexibility to do all this with a damn computer, work on your melody or your beats first. I had to get a drink of water there. All right, so please subscribe. We'll see you next week. Thanks again.